Alright, um, my name's Tim. Um, I'm a second year CS major in Physics 2, obviously. Um, the lecture that I decided to choose to do was the rhythm, spontaneous rhythms in nature and technology. Um, rhythms everywhere that with what we work with, um, our body has its own rhythm, its own beat, our heartbeat can count as one. Um, orchestras rely on the conductor to um, pace their own music so they don't get like disorganized and stuff. So um, the first point I'm going to do is, um, here's a picture that I found online. Um, this is the 24-hour clock that um, we have internalized within our system. Um, it makes most sense. Um, you're more active during the day, like your blood pressure is going to be higher, your fastest reaction time is 3.30. Um, some things that don't make sense to me is uh, high alertness at 10 in the morning. Um, doesn't seem right. Anyways, um, going on to the next point. This is a YouTube video of 32 metronomes that are just randomly started and what ends up happening is pretty amazing. So um, as you can see, these two guys are yeah, these two guys are just starting the metronomes, and they're starting to click. I muted it, so you guys wouldn't just hear clicking the entire video. But um, while we let that happen, this is a four-minute video, so I'm going to talk about rhythm and um, synchronization happening in nature. Here's a video of birds, a flock of birds. Um, full screen that for you guys. Um, flock of birds avoiding a peregrine falcon. Um, flocks do this a lot as well as schools of fishes. Um, it's really incredible because just this many birds can act as one organism working together to prevent the peregrine falcon. Um, I think the falcon makes one more swoop in a little bit. But um, once again like fish, schools of fishes do this as well. And Yeah, um, I actually saw this at one of the football games at Tech. It was, like, behind the scoreboard, but I really doubt anybody saw it besides me. I was like, oh, that happened. So there's that. And back to our synchronization. Um, metronomes, as you can see, they're starting to slowly synchronize to each other. Um, it's just progress right now. Um, the way this happens is um, the momentum that each – each time it moves, um, it just the forces start working together to uh, slowly s sync up. Um, while we let that happen, I'm going to go to um, this firefly video. Um, fireflies usually gather around trees at night, and um, they start blinking randomly. And as you can see, there are different clusters of fireflies. And you can't see that, but you can see me. So um, you can see it's you can see different clusters of fireflies flashing, and eventually they start syncing up to uh, one big flash. And you can like see part of the tree where the fireflies are. Um, this also happens with clapping. Um, believe it or not, um, when we clap, we we subconsciously start clapping at the same rhythm as the person who claps the loudest. Just like how fireflies start flashing at the same rate as the brightest firefly on the tree or nearest them. So um, as you can see these metronomes are starting to click at the same pace. Um, yeah, um, one of the biggest, one of the most interesting questions that was asked during the lecture was um, whether or not the universe with all like the rotations and forces going on if there is a final state that the universe is going to be synchronized to. Um, personally, I don't know. I don't think anybody does, but it's still an interesting question. Like, when is what the universe is going to be like, or if there is going to be, like, one, one big, like, final stage that the universe is going to be at. Um, finally, um, this is just a really... I found this really interesting. You can listen to the clicks. And I've muted the video, so...
And so that's the end of my video. Um, thanks for watching.